Hi, I'm in the tasting room here now to tell you about our vintage fortified Shiraz. Now, we've been making this forever, basically. My great-grandfather bought the vineyard in 1912, built the winery in 27, and we've still got bottles of the 1928 vintage fortified Shiraz. And uh, it's been made in the same way all the time. The vineyards, really not much has changed there. We don't cultivate anymore, so it's just like when the horses all worked it. We don't into undervine herbicide. There's no irrigation in these vineyards. In fact, it's, it's material that usually goes into the dead arm that we use to make the vintage fortified Shiraz. So our top Shiraz actually goes in here. Uh, but it's made quite different. We get the grapes just a little bit riper, only about three or four days to a week longer. So it's not too ripe. And then uh, fermented on skins. But halfway through the ferment, we add a low street fortifying spirit, which is a special brandy spirit that hasn't been in wood and I'm very particular about the spirit I add. It has to have um, juniper berries and orange and apricot and those sorts of characters. And then um, we put it, uh, fortify on skins, leave it there for another five days with the submerged cap there and then press it off into the bottle uh, when it's about a year old. So really no oak, uh, very simple wine making. And then release it well when it's four or five years old but they look amazing when they're really old and you should have a bottle of 1928, it's great. Cheers.